Hello and uh, good afternoon kids. Welcome once again to this short video tutorial video for class 8 students. And since we have uh, in the last video we have finished with the topic cubes and cubits. So the next topic for today's lesson will be fundamental concepts and operations. So in this topic, this uh, actually this topic will uh, comes under algebraic portion. So since we have done few chapters on the arithmetic part, so let's begin with algebraic as well. Okay. So for fundamental concepts and operations, so first of all we'll be dealing with the the terms constants and variables. So constants. What does the term constants means? The constants, the terms having the fixed values. Con constant terms are terms having fixed values for example 1 2 3 uh, or in general words or in simple words you can say the numbers if you see a number then it's a constant term you can directly predict that isn't it a fraction it may be a fractional form of integer negative integer and so on is it okay a simple a constant term means nothing but simple a uh, number okay and the second one we have here, the second term we have here is variable. So variable means which does not have a fixed value. That means it does not have, we don't know the exact value for a variable. But it doesn't mean that it does not have a value. Remember, in every equation a variable has a value which we does not know. And algebraic expressions, uh, the sums under algebra, we will everything will be simply finding the under finding the value of the variables so variables basically they are denoted with alphabets see x y z a b c and you can use any other alphabets as well okay so variables which does not have a fixed value so and simple in simple words we can say that whenever in an expression an alphabet is used simple uh, remember the alphabets are your variables is it okay so the next topic, uh, the an algebraic expression. Yeah, what does an algebraic expression means? So, an algebraic expression is a combination of a constant and variables. See, an algebraic expression is a combination of constant and variables connected by the signs plus minus multiply or divide. A simple combination of um, constant and variables connected with the signs plus minus uh, into or divide is known as your algebraic expressions. For example, simple C, you might have seen this kind of algebraic expressions as well, isn't it, in your previous exercises as well, 2x plus 3, simple. We have got constant terms, 2, 3 in here, we got variables also, x in here, connected together with a plus sign, so it's a simple algebraic expression. Similarly, x square plus y plus 3, see, we got variables, or constant terms in here, connected together with a positive sign, so it's a simple algebraic expression. Is it okay? Okay, so moving on to the next topic we have here, types of polynomials, yes. Now types of polynomials, so monomial, first comes monomial. Monomial means simple, just one term, one term, just simple one term is known as monomial. The term, see, the term itself tells you that, mono, mono means one, so one term. Example, so simple, see, 2x, 3xy, so no matter how many variables are there, it doesn't matter, so and it doesn't matter whether it's a positive integer or negative integer as well. See, I have got another variable as minus 4x square y. So, simple, a single term is a monomial. That's it. Okay. So, similarly, binomial, two terms, example. And remember, terms can be separated only with a positive or a negative sign. Remember that. Terms can only be separated with a positive and a negative sign. Similarly, in the second case, we have here 2x plus y. Now, see, it's because of this plus, we have got two terms in here, 2x plus y, 2x, one term, y, second term. So, first and second term, two terms combined together with a plus sign. So, overall, it has got two terms, we can say, so therefore, it's some binomial. So, similarly, this one in here, see, 3x square plus x, and this one in here, 2x plus 2y. Is it okay? <coughs> and similarly, trinomial as well, trinomial, tri, tri means three, so three terms, example again the same thing, terms can only be separated with a plus and a negative sign as I have already said, so x plus 2x square plus 3y, three terms, three terms are there connected with a positive sign, so it's a trinomial. Second one we have 2x plus 2y minus 2z, so we got three terms connected with a plus and a negative sign, again three terms, so it's a trinomial. Is it okay? So these are the basic the basic things and this 
the basic of algebra you have done in class 7 as well I hope isn't it uh, and an algebra equation yeah an algebra equation containing more than three terms remember an algebra equation containing more than three terms is called a polynomial simple polynomial but everything this too that is monomial binomial trinomial they also comes under polynomial the topic is same that is the polynomial only it's only that we have got names for the three terms that is for one term it can be called as monomial as well for two terms it can be called binomial for three terms it can be called trinomial as well and again if it goes for more than four terms four or more than four terms it can again be called as polynomial these are also known as polynomials remember it's just that for one term we have got a specific name that it can be also be called as monomial two terms binomial three terms trinomial is it okay and yes now this one is important see degree of a polynomial now these are important things so if the polynomial is in one variable then the highest power of the variable is called the degree of the polynomial see polynomial with one variable so what do we have here in example as I have shown you in the example I have got written 9 x minus 19 so we know that what do we know is we got two terms in here it's a binomial isn't it it's a binomial with one variable see variable we got one variable x and what is the degree of the x see remember your uh, lesson from the exponent part the degree the power what is the power of the x if nothing is written out there it means it's one isn't it so <clears throat> the power highest power of the variable that's what we have written see so highest power of the variable we have got this one variable the highest power is one so it's degree is simple one that's it it's finished okay similarly for the next one we have here 4x plus 3x square plus 2 what do I have here now is I got trinomial so for trinomial what do I got is I got variable C got variable x I got variable x square as well now see in terms of x and x square what do I see is this variable has a greater power isn't it that is the power is 2 as compared to this variable it has got 1 it has got 2 so the highest power is known as highest power of the variable is called the degree so therefore its degree is 2 is it okay now for the third one what do I have here is again I got a trinomial I got a trinomial with variable in terms of y so y with the highest power for this variable as 4 so its degree is 4 is it okay and yeah one more thing that is the relation remember the relation between a constant and a variable whenever a constant and a variable term is written together when a constant and a variables are written together the relation between them is always multiplication like for example 2x it can be written as 2 into x so even though it's just written as 2x remember the relation between them is into and it can also be written as 2x so why to bother in writing multiply and all isn't it so it can simply be written as 2x is it okay similarly for 3xy it can also be written as 3 into x into y so it's simply we write simplification as in, uh, simply we write 3xy is it okay and one more important thing yeah this one that is whenever a constant and a variable is written together what we just learned is the relation between them is multiplication isn't it the variable here we have x as the variable and 2 as the constant term whenever these two terms are written together remember at that time the constant term is also known as the coefficient of the variable in the first case we have the variable as x so it is known as coefficient of x see the constant term is known as coefficient of x is it understood the second one I have written 3xy so I have got two variables in here the constant term is 3 as I said the constant term is also known as the coefficient of the variable so for the second case I can say that 3 is the coefficient of xy is it understood the constant term with the variable which stays with the variable in the relation multiplication remember in the relation multiplication is also known as the coefficient of that variable is it okay okay so moving on to the next part we have okay now again we are dealing with the degrees of the um, <coughs> polynomial so again now the second case we have is we can have uh, in the second type what we can have is we can have more than two variables as well isn't it two or more than two variables so what happens there is if a polynomial has two or more variables in them then the sum of the powers of the variables in each term is found and the highest sum so obtained is called the degree of that polynomial so I'll explain it remember uh, listen carefully again <clears throat> so whenever we have two 
or more than two variables what are we supposed to do is we are supposed to first of all we are supposed to add the powers so whichever the power is the highest the that will be the degree of that polynomial is it okay so here from the first case what we have is we got 3x square minus 5x square z square plus x cube plus 2z cube see I have got one variable out here two variables together in here isn't it the relation is multiplication there is a single term remember that isn't it because the relation is multiplication and I get again plus x to the power 3 plus 2z cube so here what do I see here is this uh, this power is 2 this power is 3 this power is 3 but what do I see here is I've got two variables together as well so what I am supposed to do I need to add the powers isn't it so as soon as I added up the power what do I see is 2 plus 2 is 4 isn't it for second term the power is 4 that is the sum of the powers is 4 for two variables isn't it so therefore the degree of the polynomial is 4 the highest power the sum is it okay okay let's do one more time uh, for number 2 I have picked for number 2 uh, 18x square y minus 7y to the power 4 plus 2x cube y to the power 4 minus 3x to the power 4 plus 11 so what do I see here is the first term and the third term having two variables together see so when you add them up what let's see what happens when you add so 2 plus 1 we have 3 as the first power for the second uh, term we got 4 as the power for the third term I have 3 plus 4 that is 7 7 as the power is in the sum of the powers for the fourth term I have 4 as the power for the fifth term uh, what will be the power it will be 0 remember it will be 0 because it can also be written as 11 x to the power 0 remember anything to the power 0 is 1 x to the power 0 it can also be written as x to the power 0 x power 0 is 1 the relation between variable and a constant is multiplication so 11 into 1 it's 11 so and here we have this term that is the third term with the highest power that is 3 and 4 7 so the degree of the polynomial is 7 out here is it okay and the degree of the constant term as I have said for 11 see degree of the constant polynomials like 7 and 23 is 0 as they can be written as 7 x to the power 0 comma 23 x to the power 0 relation between constant and variable is multiplication we know that and we know from the exponential part that uh, the exponential topic that anything to the power 0 is 1 so x to the power 0 is 1 so 7 into 1 it's 7 see the value hasn't changed okay now the second part uh, we have here is linear polynomial so linear polynomial what is a linear polynomial linear polynomial is nothing but just simply a polynomial with degree 1 is known as your linear polynomial polynomial in which the highest uh, the degree if the degree of entire polynomial is just 1 it's known as a linear polynomial similarly for quadratic polynomial if the degree is 2 it's known as quadratic polynomial the linear uh, the degree of the entire polynomial if it's 2 then it's known as quadratic polynomial and the third one we have here is cubic polynomial so the degree is 3 so the degree 3 so the degree is 3 in here cubic polynomial with degree 3 the highest order is um, if, if in a polynomial we have got the highest uh, power that is the degree of the polynomial is 3 then it's known as cubic polynomial so after that now this one is very important remember now this is the most important of all like terms <clears throat> an algebraic expression having the same variables are known as like terms otherwise they are known as unlike terms remember and algebraic expressions having the same variables remember the variables has to be same as well as the powers of the variables also has to be same remember it, it cannot be like the powers they have got the variables you have you have same variables everything is same and the powers are different they are again they are they will be unlike terms remember for like terms and unlike terms how can you differentiate between them the variables has to be same as well as the powers of the particular variable also has to be same like for example in like terms I have written see 2x comma and 3x whenever you are comparing these two uh, terms single monomial terms what do I see here is the variables if you go with the variables I have seen x in x so now the power also 1 and 1 so we can simply call it as like terms so 
the variable the coefficients doesn't matter remember the coefficients doesn't matter as well as the sign of the coefficient doesn't matter it's just that the variable has to be same as well as the powers of the variable similarly the second term we have here I have given minus 2x uh, minus 2xy minus and minus 4 divided by 3yx so look at here what do we have here is x and y the variables I have got y and x in variable again I am telling you that these are like terms why it's because see it's just written in um, the y is written in front and the x is written at the back so we know that the multiplication is associated the relation is multiplication isn't it the order doesn't matter in multiplication isn't it whether you write y at first or y at second it doesn't matter unless and until the power and the variable has to be same so see what do I see here for y the power is 1 similarly in this case the y is 1 the power is 1 for x also the power is 1 this for this x also the power is 1 so these two are like terms is it okay the constant doesn't matter for like terms remember that for like and unlike terms and for similarly for this one I have just given the variable c minus x square y comma x square y so even though I haven't written the coefficients that is the constant terms just by looking at the variables I can tell that these two are like terms isn't it and what is it uh, what will be the coefficient if the coefficients are not given mm -hmm. if the coefficients are not given the coefficient will be 1 because the relation between them is multiplication isn't it and 1 doesn't change the value so the coefficient will be 1 is it okay so and for the uh, last topic for today is unlike terms yeah for unlike terms what do we have in unlike terms is that again see for unlike terms as I said even though for two terms the coefficients are same see coefficients are same what do I see here and the variables are also same see x y x y the variables are also same in just general the variables are also same but what do I see in the second term is that the two uh, the power of y is 2 but for the first term the power of y is 1 so that makes it unlike terms see everything is same isn't it just by just looking at uh, just when you go uh, just look at once you may notice that now uh, you may feel like they are like terms see the coefficients are same the variables are same x y x y isn't it but still they are unlike terms why because of the power of y remember that and similarly for this one as well see what do i see here is and here what do i find figure, find out was the degree was same see what we learned about the degree for monomial with two variables what we learned about degree for two we, we are dealing with two variables we are need to add them up isn't it so the powers so 2 plus 1 the degree of this first term is 3 similarly the degree of this second term is also 3 so see even though the degrees are same I'm telling you that these two are unlike terms why it's simply because of the power of the particular variables remember so this x has power 2 this x has power 1 so that makes them unlike terms for y the power is 1 for y the power is 2 see is it okay so this one minus 3 by 2 x y square z minus 4 x y z see though the variables are same still they are unlike terms why because of simply this y first term with the power of y as 2 and second term with the power of y as 1 is it okay so I hope you have understood today's lesson so today we'll be just um, dealing up to here the, the simple terms related to the algebraic expressions so what I want you to do is just note down a few important topics from here so the exercise will be doing uh, on the next video so I hope you can just safe at home so stay tuned stay safe so that's all for today good day